Okay, so next thing I want to do is add um, a ceiling and some lighting, and we're going to start doing some test renders as well. A couple of ways to do the ceiling. Um, you can either draw it on yourself. Um, you could just copy the floor and bring it up like that. Just probably the simplest way. Just change the color to some kind of white. Just standard generic white, doesn't have to be anything special unless you want it to be. So just click it there and click it there. So there's our ceiling in place. Zoom in a bit. So we've got a ceiling in place. Um, let's do a quick test render and see what happens. So of course it's really dark because there's no real light in the picture. The only light is coming from um, what is called the environment, which is like a, a sort of glow around the whole SketchUp model, which is sort of infinite. Um, and that's the only thing lighting the kitchen at the moment. So it's pretty dark. So we're gonna just stop that interactive render and we're gonna add some lights. So, <clears throat> yeah, so one thing that was turned off in V-Ray, which shouldn't have been, is the sunlight. So let's turn that back on and then do another render and see what happens. So you can see this sort of yellow um, sun ray reflecting against the cabinets here. So that's an additional light, which is your standard V-Ray sun, um, which can be a bit harsh, but you can adjust the settings by um, just pulling up your default tray and then go to shadows, which is somewhere there and then you can change the month and you can change uh, the time of day so if you want really long shadows let's go for late afternoon early evening in August let's see what happens there and you can see so we've got some long shadows coming in there reflecting against the floor um, if you want to change the direction of the Sun um, you can either do it by just changing the time of day again if I just run the interactive render and then let's change that to noon and go back. And you can sort of see the sun has shifted and it's sort of shining in down this way at the moment. Um, I'm going to change it back to sort of mid-afternoon uh, in September. Um, there is a really good extension called Solar North, which is here. And this means that you can actually change the direction of the sun position in the sky, um, irrelevant of what the time of day or the month is. So that's something that um, V-Ray can't, uh, sorry, SketchUp can't do on its own. So you have to download this thing, Solar North. So just to show you what I mean, if I turn shadows on, uh, by clicking this little thing here, you can see at the moment we've got the sun coming in this way and if you click this little left thing here just move the direction of the sun to wherever you want it to be just like that which is quite easy but we are not going to use that uh, because I find the V-Ray sun to be a bit too harsh so first of all I'm going to turn the shadows off on our scene and then I'm going to go to V-Ray and I'm going to turn the sunlight off. So instead of that, we're going to use something called a dome light, which is um, part of the uh, V-Ray um, software. So you go to extensions, V-Ray lights, dome light, and we put this in. It looks a little bit similar. So this sort of semicircular dome there represents the whole of the SketchUp model. So you've got like um, a dome of sky enveloping the whole model which um, sounds a bit weird, but that's what it is. So let's do another render now. Not got much light coming through the window, but you can see the background um, is more white. Um, so then to change the direction of the sun, you click on Use Transform here, and then you click on the Rotate tool and you treat it just like a SketchUp object, and then you turn it to wherever you want. And it's important to note that this arrow here is pointing to where the sun is and not the direction of the sun rays. So the sun's over here somewhere on the left and the rays are coming in through the window towards the, the oven and the hob. It's a bit counterintuitive because 
I would have thought the arrows are the direction of the sun rays, but it's actually the opposite. So let's do a quick test render. So now you can see just here um, the sunlight coming in from the dome light. And I actually prefer that to the V-Ray Sun because it's more realistic, it's a bit more subtle, it's not so sharp, not so yellow, a um, bit more realistic. So we'll stop that. And the dome light will also give you some kind of sort of sky. Uh, and if you can see that, it's a bit bright, but if I lower the brightness, let's halve it down to 0 0.5 do another render, you'll start to see the blue sky and some clouds. There you go. So that's just like a sky filling the whole of the SketchUp model. So obviously it's still too dark. Um, what you can do is adjust the um, V-Ray settings and adjust uh, where is it? Adjust the exposure value. I mean, if we were to put eight and then run a render, the lower the exposure, the brighter the scene. So it looks like a nuclear bomb's gone off. It's too white. We're not going to do that. We're going to put that back to 12. And I'm going to add some ceiling lights, which I have got saved uh, as components. And these, again, are V-Ray lights, um, and they're called... Um, Spotlights. So if you click a spotlight, you get this like cone thingy, cone shape. Let's hide that. So there you go. So I've just put a light in the scene. Um, that won't do much at the moment. Um, you've got properties. So there's the spotlight there. So it's a thousand. Increase it to three thousand five hundred, and then you can change the angle of the cone. I normally put that at 55 and then the penumbra angle, which is like the secondary sort of ray of light, almost like a sort of echo of it. I normally put that at 65 and that will sort of give a nice sort of light spread. Just move it over here somewhere by, let's put it by these cabinets so you get some reflection and see what that looks like. So not a lot on its own, but what you can do to increase the effectiveness is make an array, so put multiple spotlights there. So what I've done is made a component array. So if I go down to my components, lighting, ceiling lights, um, let's choose uh, 3 by 5 by 3, so let's put this in here. So what this is, it's a grouped item and it consists of a SketchUp object, which is this um, sort of circular LED light there. And it also consists of the V-Ray light, which is sort of coming from it. So I just put these into place, just put them down so the LED light rests on the ceiling. It will just snap into place like that, easy peasy. And now, again check here 3500 we should have a bit more illumination in the scene see there we go so that's brightened it up a little bit you could either increase the value of the spotlight but i'm going to increase the intensity of the whole scene so all of the lights are brighter in proportion that's the dome light the environment and these spotlights so to do that Go to exposure value, let's go to 11. Remember, the lower the exposure value, the brighter the scene. So let's do a test render. And I think that's getting to where, sort of, more or less we want it to be. Could be a little bit brighter. Um, but that may be because I need some more Spotlights, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the group and give it some one extra row of lights. So I'm going to move that across, put them there, click out of the group, and then move them away from the cabinet a little bit. So it's just giving it a bit more light into the corner. 
not a huge difference, but um, but it's better, I think. Okay, let's stop that. Another thing that we can do is put some LED strip lights underneath the wall cabinets, which is really easy to do. So to do that, let's um, view from underneath. So let's hide the floor. And then again, go to extensions, V-Ray, lights, rectangle light, and simply just pop a light like that. And then we'll change the value to 10, because otherwise it's going to be too bright. And then I like to make it the actual light invisible, which means you still get the rays emitting from the light, but you just won't see this square rectangle. And that way it kind of looks as if it's um, recessed into the cabinet. Let's move this across. I'm just copying and pasting that, or move and control, which duplicates it. Make it a bit wider by pressing the scale tool. And then rather than um, make a new light each time, I just keep copying and pasting, flipping it round, and then that keeps the same light intensity. And then to change the size, again, just use the scale tool. I'll put that there. Zoom through the window. Let's put another little one down here. Again, move and control. I'm using shortcut keys. Oops, that didn't go well. That's it. And then this one, we're going to move up under the extractor housing. Make it a little bit wider. Go to our scene. And let's have a look what that looks like. There we go. Probably a little bit bright, um, considering it's daylight. So I'm going to tone those down a bit. Let's change the value from 10 to um, 6. And this works the opposite to the general room exposure. So here, lower is darker, whereas on exposure, which is the whole sort of room, lower is brighter. So it's a bit confusing, but you'll get used to it. So another render. Can't tell much difference, but slightly less light on there. Just leave it like that for now. Doesn't really make a difference. Um, so what looks weird about this model and the answer to that is the background looks rubbish. So we want to put a nice sort of garden background in there. And there's various ways to do that, which I won't get into this video now, different options. Um, things like using HDRI or, um, well, that's probably the only other option. But what I think is best to use is a simple JPEG image, um, which you can put perpendicular or parallel to whichever window you're looking out of. So, to do that, <clears throat> I've saved some uh, JPEGs. Um, so go to import, go to my folder, which is backgrounds. So all of these are standard backgrounds which I use in my kitchen drawings, depending on the type of property and where it is. Uh, but 90% of the time I use the same one, which is like a typical English garden, because that's the sort of kitchen jobs I get. So you click and pull it into place. Then what you do, you explode it to turn it into a SketchUp uh, component rather than a JPEG, make it a group again, and then you just flip it round and put it into place. So it's like a sort of TV or film set where you've got like a false background, but it's actually really effective. So there you go, looking at there, you sort of see a rooftop, let's hide the window, maybe move it up a little bit, something like that, put the window back. I'm happy with that. But one thing now, if I do <clears throat> a sample render, see it's quite dark. Um, and the way that I solve that, instead of the light coming through the window and hitting the cabinets, this is the dome light I'm talking about, I point the dome light and the sunlight towards this, um, this object here, towards the, <clears throat> towards the background. Um, and basically what that means is the sun shines on it and it looks more realistic. So let's take the rotate tool and we want to put it in about sort of a 45 degree angle. So what that means is the light will come in from this bottom left corner 
and it will hit the JPEG image and then we'll see that through the window. Um, but it will also miss the building because if I had the light directly behind the building, the building would cast a shadow on it and it would look weird. So let's have a look what that looks like. Look at the difference. There it is dark and there it is light. Um, and we've also, because of the angle of it, we've also got some coming through from this window here. Um, there's probably a bit too much there, so I'm going to um, make it a bit less bright. I'm probably going to change the angle as well. So I'm going to change it from 0.5 to 0.25. And then I'm going to put it slightly that way. I don't want too much on the cabinets. That'll do. I mean, it looks a bit, it's a bit much, but you've got some realism there as well, which is okay. Um, I still think these LED strips under the wall cabinets are too bright, considering it's like a daytime shot. They wouldn't be so bright. So let's let's make those a bit less. So I'm going to put those down to three. That's better. 